Today's episode is about selling yourself. If you look at the richest of people or even the most successful ones, you'll realize that they all have one thing in common, and that is to put themselves out in a very appealing way, to sell themselves basically. Selling yourself is an art. It's a skill that most people don't necessarily have. I've known so many people who say that they don't know what they're good at, let alone myself back in the 10th grade. So, here are two ways a human can acquire skills that they wish to master. One, they are born with it. Believe it or not, each of us is born with a talent and it's just that we fail to recognize it, but eventually get to know about it, figure it out and master it. Two, by practicing a skill. You can be good at anything that you want provided you put in efforts into learning it. So, here is an example of my own. Before sitting for my SATs this August, I would read so much about all the people who've received a perfect score, which is a 1600 on 1600. This would blow my mind each time I read about a person scoring a full 1600 on 1600. And I would think about how amazing it'd be if one day I open my laptop and a a perfect score appears on my screen. Ever since then, I was determined and I began looking up for videos, for books, anything that would help me achieve my goal. I practiced continuously for about months because I knew that if I want to achieve a perfect score, I have to work. Be it months, be it years, I have to put in all I have because nothing comes without working hard. And yes, I was fixed about getting a good score. And a week or so later i saw my scores um i received a mail from college board and i was very very excited i opened the mail and it directs me to their website now when i open the website i see a 750 out of 800 in the math section and a 760 out of 800 in the english section which summed up to be a 1510 out of 1600 Now although it wasn't a 1600 on 1600 I wasn't disappointed. I was thrilled because this still put me into the 99th percentile of the millions of people who've taken SATs this year. Now the story is something I shared to tell you that anyone can learn anything that they want if they put in all their efforts into learning it because hadn't I um put in all my efforts into scoring the 1600 i perhaps wouldn't even have touched the 1510 and the next example that i would like to quote is i was not born with the art of writing but it's the circumstances that pushed me to expressing myself in the form of poetry i watched videos i spoke to different writers from across the globe about their journeys about what prompted them to start writing which really really inspired me And one day, I had my own book published. My page is Simone Poetry underscore if you'd want to check that out. But um, I think it's again something that I worked for. It's something I knew I was determined to achieve, and ha- hence I put in all my efforts into achieving it. So if you think you have no skill set, choose one and get going. So that was pretty much it. Here is a small summary of today's podcast. One, learn to identify a skill you want to master. Or if not even a skill, figure out ways to master anything that you want to achieve. Work for it. Work hard for it. Second, if you don't know what you're good at, maybe pick up any skill and practice it. Like let's suppose you want to write again another example about writing because I'm obsessed with writing. Now if you want to write and you're not good at writing, put in efforts. You don't have to be born with it unless you of course are an exceptional case, but if you want to master something you haven't even come across once in your lifetime, all it needs is practice and time. Because this combination together is definitely going to take you afar. Now I'm just 16 years old, but my experiences have taught this 
to me at a very early age and i'm super super grateful for that but besides this the final point that i would like to quote under the summary is learn how to sell and present yourself so that's pretty much it for today's episode thank you for listening i'll see you kuch baaton ka matlab kuch matlab ki baatein kya matlab hi i'm simon 16 years old i'm a student founder at youth grow youth which to keep very short is a student led non-profit organization with the mission of connecting high school students together with different opportunities to help enhance their college applications while building exceptional leadership skills a basketball player and a published writer so through my 10 episodes i will talk you through my journey the challenges i faced inside business politics how i juggled between coping up with school and my business amongst all other things and literally so much more fun day stay tuned